Hi, it's G. Michelle Birdtown in New York City. I have a uh, message from the Father, Father, the Son, the Sons, and his daughter, and the daughter. The self-made millionaire Tony Robbins article, I believe, it says, Believing Takes Seven Lies will make you more successful in life. I'm believing seven lies will make you more successful in life. This article was written by Tom Papamoranos. And let's see. The world's most successful people have mastered the ability to produce the results they desire. That's the idea behind unlimited power, the new science of personal achievement, Tony Robbins' first best-selling book. Tony argues that there are seven beliefs we must follow in order to succeed in life. These beliefs are vital to the foundation of excellence. Here are Robin's seven lies of success. Okay, I decoded lies. L for will, I for pleasure, E for Eve, and S for source. Will pleasure the source. Eve is a pleasure. Eve's will is a pleasure. Eve wills pleasure. Eve is the source of pleasure. Okay, I finally got it right. <laughs> Number one, everything happens. This is what you must believe in order to succeed. Everything happens for a reason and purpose, and it services us. Okay? So when something happens that you don't like, just remember to think. It services me. Successful people focus on what's possible in a situation no matter how much negative feedback they receive. They believe that adversity contains the seed of an equivalent or greater benefit, Tony writes. Number two, there is no such thing as failure. There are only results. Failure does not exist for successful people. If the outcome wasn't what they desire, they see it as a learning opportunity. Belief in failure is a way of poisoning the mind. Number three, whatever happens, take responsibility. High achievers believe that they create their own world and reality. Robin says the greatest leaders have the ability to say, it's my responsibility, I'll take care of it. Believe, I'm responsible, I will take care of myself. Number four, it's not necessary to understand everything to be able to use everything, make use of everything. Adam and Eve energy entity ether offer feelings, Eve, her, I, the Hing, Pran Kumar Sharma creates characters. I did Sneezy the Greasy Baby says Abigail. Good versus evil. Okay, that's some personal information I put in there. Robin says there's a balance between use and knowledge. Know how to use. Know what you've got to use. What you've got to work with. More information from me. Robin say that achievers exact the essence from a situation. Then I say they see what exactly is the essence. Take out what they need and don't dwell on the rest, on the balance. Rest balances you. Seven hours a night. I believe I can see exactly the essence in every experience I encounter. That's my own affirmation. Essence defined 
the intrinsic nature or indispensable quality of something, especially something abstract that determines its character. Conflict is the essence of drama. Similar words to essence, quintessence, soul, and spirit. Philosophy, property or group of properties of something without which it would not exist or be what it is. That's the name of the Edwin Birdsong album. Where was it? There it is. What it is. I did the lyrics for that. Check it out. It's quite real. Without the son, his sons, I would not be the co-creator of what it is. I am itching to be acknowledged as co-creator of the masterpiece, what it is. These are uh, more affirmations. An extract or concentrate. That's what essence is. And then I wrote lemon extract and vanilla extract are concentrated forms of the original. Concentration of the original. Unnecessary omitted. Okay, I'm just breaking the word down for you. Essence and extract or concentrate. See on scent, scent rate. Two and a half cents a shirt. See ordering in scent rate of the scent. I believe I'll be, okay, so that just means that my mother made two and a half cents a shirt. And um, I'm on her trail. I'm following her footsteps. So I've been making pennies on the dollar. I just became aware of that. I believe I'll be given 90 septillion dollars. And while the dollar is still solvent, viable as a medium of exchange for at the world. Obtained from, okay, an abstract or concentrate is obtained from a particular plant or other matter and used for flavoring or scent. S-E-N-T, scent. Um, I sent you this message over YouTube. Five, people are your greatest resource. You need to believe this in order to succeed. Do you respect and appreciate your peers? Yes, and I named a lot of my peers. Eddie, Maria Cobb, Mary Panama, Jonathan, Bill Leader, Sheila, Rafael Maldonado, Orlando, Rodriguez, Milton Harris, William Hayes, Carlos, Tarek, Charlene Kelps, Tom Burns, Gretel Beham, April, Edna, Michael Raker, Judy Redinger, who was uh, Eleanor Roosevelt in her past life, and others, including Rocky, a drummer, and John Leverwitz, a guitar player. Here at St. Francis of Assisi, Residence 3, Robin Birdsong with St. Francis of Assisi. She's my daughter. She's in Hawaii. She was Seth's wife. Seth is Will Smith in the Garden of Eden. Okay. People who produce outstanding results have a sense of a team, a sense of common purpose and unity. This is my team. This is my family. Everybody's supposed to create a team. Everybody's supposed to create a family. This is the way God set it up for it to work best for you, for life to work best for you. Number six, we need to believe work is play. My work is a Broadway play. That's what I want to produce. Mr. And Mrs. Jesus Christ, what it is, two, and Love Struck, three. I want to produce three plays. The world's most remarkable thinkers, artists, and creators found joy in their work. Quote by Mark Twain. Eve was Mark Twain in a previous life. The secret of success is making your vocation your vacation. Fun, in other words. Make your work fun. Number seven, there is no abiding success without commitment. The most successful people are the ones with the most commitment. I am qualified to write about the most commitment. Insanity, because I have been committed. I digress on Google quiz. This is this a Charles Dickens? Eve was Charles Dickens. Quote, uh, 
quote or Michael Bublé lyric. This is Michael Bublé. He was Adam, Eve's husband in the garden, Seth and Azura's father, and Awan's father, Melanie L. Spear was Awan in the garden of Eden. These are the children. Okay. Okay, where am I? Psychology. Well, no, up here. End of article. And there you have it. Okay, it. I for pleasure, T for true. It true. The article's true. A for A N for Angel Michelle. D for daughter of the sun. A person with seriously good intentions about talking about Tony Robbins, about personal growth, psychology, and success says. These are the seven lives of success you must believe in order to succeed. All of these so-called lies will pleasure Eve's source really come down to just one psychological trait, the ability to believe that you are in control, and there's a lot of scientific evidence to back that up. Evidence. E-V for Eve, I-D-E-N for identity, C for conscious, E for entity. Eve's identity, she's a conscious entity. Yes, psychologists call it an internal locus of control. Note, internal location of control. That's why I rephrase it so you could understand it easier. Gorinda in or at my pineal gland on call 24-7. This is Govinda Singh, Jesus Christ. He is inside my head, in my pineal gland, in his spirit form, all the time, 24-7. Available for me to ask any questions. So, the concept was first, the um, internal locus concept was first developed by Julian B. Rotter in 1954, the year Govinda Singh was born. Rotter. R for her, O for order, T for tell, T for true, E for energy, R for her, her order, tell true energy, her. Okay, she is true energy, they're talking about Eve. And then over here, born, B order, R N, make people feel better. Okay, she's an R N who makes people feel better. And Gurinda Singh, born in 1954, is a guru who makes people feel better. Okay, and it has since become a critical, talking about internal locus, has since become a critical aspect of personality studies. Locus of control, location of control, generally refers to where a person believes their power comes from. My power comes from my father, father, the all-seeing, Therefore, all-knowing son, he has access to his pleasure, Eve, Venus, at all times. His motivation, she's his motivation, his stimulation, his inspiration, and there is no expiration on their relationship. Okay. Locus of control generally refers to where a person believes their power comes from, and for most people, it falls heavily on either the internal or external side. In other words, if you hold yourself accountable for your failures and take credit for your, on, uh, for your personal successes, you have more of an internal locus. If you blame your failure on outside circumstances and see success as something that happens by chance or luck, you have an external locus. Conventional psychology as a simplified take on Rob Tony Robbins' theory. Do you believe the world is out to help you rather than out to get you? To unconsciously use me, this is what I believe, the world is out to unconsciously use me then ignore me or take me for granted. That's Eve's take on things. Do you believe you're responsible for the outcomes of, your, of my life? I guess so. But St. Francis helped me, and Jesus Christ helped me. 
and Uncle Sam, my mother, is feeding me. Social Security and food stamps are feeding me. This is my mother. Now my granddaughter, Govinda, uh, Jindara Michelle Ranz Ranzinger. This is her as a little girl. Okay. Uh, do you believe that you're empowered and in control of your emotions? Yes, my thoughts dictate my emotions. I use talk and share to control my emotions. Are you able to commit to your most desired goal? Yes, my most desired goal was to know myself. Okay, now, from writing many positive messages from others, these messages and these words came from the good Lord, and they are my 2019 Christmas blessing. What is your Christmas blessing? Let me share mine, if you will. The key to life is stay on an even keel. Talk and share therapy is the real deal. Okay, even. E-V-E -E for Eve. N for N. N-U-N, nun. She lives like a nun. She doesn't have physical sex. Even is to be balanced. To be even is to be balanced. To be unbalanced is to be insane. Okay, V-E, V-E-N-U-S, Venus. Eve is Venus. V for victory, I for pleasure. Venus is victory, pleasure. Remember I told you the sun is watching Venus at all times. She's his pleasure. Even, concentrating, E-N, see the E-N? Concentrating. Sun is raging, watching like a clock, Venus at all times, and she doesn't mind. Watching, W for world, A T for at, C, Hing. Hing is an Indian spice. Mr. and Mrs. Gurinder Singh, husband and wife. Gurinder Singh is an Indian spice. And Eve was Guru Nanak and Pran Sharma Kumar, the Walt Disney of India. She's an Indian spice as well. Okay, sing. Sun, light. Indian spice is sunlight. Aura. You've heard of the aura. Your, your aura is air. Eve, ether. Atmosphere. Eve is the air. She's the atmosphere. The sun is the light. You can't see the sunlight. The sunlight's aura. Because it's so big, you're in it. Can you see the sunshine? You're in it. You cannot see the whole, whole of the sunshine. It covers the world, the earth. You can't see Eve's energy. It's the ether, the atmosphere. You feel it. You're a part of it. Earth is entertained by the sun, the father, father, his sons who sing songs, Michael Bublé, and Gurinda Singh was Nat King Cole and a lot of other singers. And they're entertained by the daughter, Eve. She has the feelings of a mother, nurturing. Belief is failure. Belief in failure is a way of poisoning the mind. Okay, so you must believe in your success. Okay, what else? Science has proven that there is true value in having an internal locus of control mindset. Research has found that those who have an internal focus, locus of focus, uh, 